I'm Jeff Rice with Decor Designs in Crystal Lake. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Restyle. Today I have you in the home of one of my clients. We're going to give her a fresh new look in her living room for the new year. And I'm going to be taking you through the steps physically of doing a redesign in this space. I'm also going to give you some tips and ideas on what I'm going to do to make the room feel a little warmer, a little more cohesive, and hopefully she and her family will enjoy it more going into the new year. So as we talked about in the episode in the fall about the steps to a redesign, we have to start out by clearing the room. So we clear out the room, taking time to move the large pieces out, move everything off of the walls, all of the small pieces, and actually start with a clean palette because that's really important to be able to, to decide what your focal point is going to be. If you have a view that you want to see out the windows, or in this particular case, we're going to make a focal point out of this large chest uh, and mirror combination. So that uh, we decide was our focal point and so we've angled it in the corner and we have our largest piece of seating furniture actually facing our focal point. After that we added in the secondary seating pieces which are the side chairs and then just build on that. We add the coffee table, the large painted stick coffee table and checker set we added that in and then it's a matter of just adding in the other elements, adding your lighting. In this case we didn't have that much lighting to work with so we had to take advantage of the large drum shaped hanging fixture that's in the room. We do have ambient lighting in the curios that we can take advantage of and then also just candles and things of that nature. It's a good idea to have a triangle of lighting in the room so we've tried to accomplish that as well. And then artwork goes in toward the end. Once you have your furniture in place it's a good idea to go ahead and start mating your artwork. Try to remember that artwork is appreciated while seated not while standing and so that way everyone sees it at a roughly the same height versus someone that is is five feet tall and someone that is 6'2", it really does make a difference in how they perceive the artwork. That also gives you the illusion of higher ceilings. And then it's a matter of just accessorizing and putting the finishing touches on and having the homeowner come in and enjoy the finished results. Have a look. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Jeff. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's well, nice good. stuff and it's nice and it's displayed well. Jeff, it's great. It really is great. We talked a little bit about uh, one of the ways that we could warm up the space and make it feel a little bit more inviting was to bring in a botanical element. So I brought in the twigs because you said that you really didn't want any faux silks. And I kind of tricked you a little bit because I did create a floral arrangement over here that has, those are silk, believe it or not, but they look like dried dried flowers. So beautiful. So hopefully Absolutely you. gorgeous. My envision of silk flowers are totally, totally different, different than that. Okay, so good, good. You should be very careful. Well, they're not your grandmother's silks. No, you know, exactly. They're totally different. That's what totally I think different. Of silks, yeah. yeah. And you probably noticed I told you that we were going to bring this piece of art out of your hallway going down to your basement because it was not really underplayed down there. So it was nice to bring it into this room. The colors play well off of the painted sticks pieces. Yeah. So um, I, love, I love that piece. So it's nice to see it being used nice again because yeah. we just don't know where to put it. Right, right. And I actually picked up the mirror idea from, I have to say, Joanne Weary. She's one of my mentors in the industry. I've seen her do this several times. And I actually got on the phone and called her to ask her exactly how she did it. It's so that because it's different nobody else hangs artwork or things on the no. corner I've seen her do it and she she deserves credit for it so it's a it's a great idea it's fabulous it's such a great idea and it creates a better focal point with yes. for with your big piece from the front door you can actually immediately see that when you come into the space right. and so that's the focal point that we right. created so yeah, it's and I love it I just love what you've done well I think it's another successful thank redesign <laughs> thank you thanks thank for you. having me this is great absolutely this is really nice Nice. Absolutely. Thanks, well, I think that is another successful redesign. It's a new look for a new year. I'm Jeff Rice with Decor Designs, and together we're going to make the most of your good taste.